Okay, our squat jump. These are nasty, okay? Become good at these, they'll be your best friend. They're gonna help you to jump higher, be more explosive, and to learn to control to move yourself in the air. So, what we're looking for is feet about hip to shoulder width apart. We're gonna be sinking back, so our hands will come behind us, our bum goes back. The front of our feet are gonna be loaded, so it's different to a squat where we sit back in our heels. Front of the feet loaded, okay? As we come up, we swing our arms, to help us go. Okay, as we come back, so we want to throw our hands back and stop ourselves early as opposed to sinking down and then coming back up. Okay, we're not looking for a rebound. Okay, that's different, that's a different movement. We're just looking for a nice smooth catch and land and then produce force to come back up. You don't have to go high, start easy, start in a position where you're just moving a little. Even if you've got just your toes off the floor a little bit, maybe you're even just doing a calf raise. And then from there you can build up. Guys, if you can't do that, if you're not comfortable swinging back and then up, okay, what we're gonna do is you can learn to throw the hands back and up. So that can also help. It'll help keep you in the same spot so that, oh, you're not just throwing yourself and going forward too far. That's not wrong. It's just, you may hit something in your house or wherever you're training. So hands will start forward and they can swing back and up. You've got two options there, swinging forward and up or back.